Saturday, April 15th at the Vista Boys and Girls Club, SoCal Pro Wrestling is celebrating 16 years of providing Southern California with some of the greatest wrestling it's ever seen. Join us as Eddie Eastloss faces off against a SoCal Pro Grand Slam champion, Ricky Mandel, in singles action. The Pool Party World Tour continues as the neon phenomenon Anthony Idol takes on World Traveler in his own right, Fidel Bravo. After being exposed for his underhanded victory, will the simmering bad blood start to boil over, or will cooler heads prevail as Mr. Excitement, Ryan Kidd, takes on Inferno Dragon. And after it's all said and done, Dragon, I'll give you the handshake you want. But after that, you're gonna raise my hand. After retaining his title the past two months by disqualification, how much impact will Tanner Black's masked henchman have without the element of surprise as the challenging Tortuga will have backup of his own in a lumberjack match for the SoCal Pro Golden State Championship? Every time we step foot in the ring together, you run away like a coward. The only thing I have in mind now is a mission, and that is to stop your shell in Tortuga, because you to me are nothing but a piece of shell. I'm walking out the Golden State Champion. In the main event, two of the most prolific and accomplished athletes to ever set foot in a SoCal Pro ring square off for the coveted SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship. Five time SoCal Pro Champion Tommy Wilson looks to dethrone the longest reigning and most dominant champion the SoCal Pro fans have ever seen, the Black Rose. Chu Diz. The two greatest heavyweight champions this company's ever seen. Five times I have won that championship. Chu Diz, he's held that belt for nearly five years. Can't believe you did what you did, bro. Come to think about it, you've done exactly what you've always done. It's always got to be about you, huh? We're trying to celebrate a night of resilience, a night of SoCal crazy. And you do that, and it's all for this? The very best goes against the very best. The biggest match in this company's history. I wasn't here when you was holding this championship. And since I've been holding it, you've been going in the win. I carried this company on my back. Come get it, bro. To make sure the match is called down the middle, the match will be officiated by the first ever SoCal Pro Champion and SoCal Pro Hall of Famer, Radiant Jason Redondo. Join us for a special night as we welcome Anchors Away into the SoCal Pro Hall of Fame and celebrate 16 years of SoCal Pro Wrestling. Tickets available now at SoCalProWrestling.com. At the SoCal Pro Anniversary Show, it all comes down to this. The two greatest heavyweight champions this company's ever seen. Five times I have won that championship. Jude is, he's held that belt for nearly five years. It all comes head to head. When the very best goes against the very best, the biggest match in this company's history, that is what it comes down to. And at the end of the night, I am going to become a six time SoCal Pro heavyweight champion. What's cracking? You know what it is. It's the Black Rose, the benevolent brother Jew Diz, with a message for Tommy Wilson. Can't believe you did what you did, bruh. But come to think about it, you've done exactly what you've always done. You've done what you've been known to do since you were the mega king, the mega star. It's always got to be about you, huh? We're trying to celebrate a night of resilience. A night of SoCal crazy, and you do that? For real? And it's all for this? You see, you call yourself a five-time champion, but that don't even matter, because I wasn't here when you was holding this championship. And since I've been holding this, you've been going in the wind. I carried this company on my back while you was on your deathbed. And now that you're back, I'm going to put you back to rest April 15th. 16 year anniversary. Come get it, bruh.
awesome, awesome, awesome event plan. First of all, I want to thank you all for 16 wonderful years. It's all coming to a head tonight. We have amazing people in this building, lots of cool action, amazing surprises, and of course, anchors away. So. <laughs> Boom! And it all kicks off with this following contest scheduled for one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SoCal Pro Wrestling 16 year anniversary. 16 years in the making. This is awesome. I'm so happy to be here, bro. We got exciting stuff going on. What a great event we have. We're going to have the Golden State Championship defended tonight. We're going to have the SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship tonight. Bro, we're going to have the Hall of Fame ceremony inducting some great people into the Hall of Fame. That's right. The second, the second, not the first, the second tag team. Second in tag team, Pro. that's right. Bro, we're starting off the action. Ryan Kidd and Inferno Dragon. This is a rematch from three months ago. And I will tell you, that match ended in some pretty nefarious circumstances. Bro, Ryan Kidd, a veteran now here in SoCal Pro. 16 years, of course, we've been around. Knows what he's doing in there. Doesn't like to see the spotlight taken from him. I mean, well traveled, bro. Mexico, Japan, I mean, he has been everywhere. You've Germany. seen- He went to Germany. Germany, you've seen a regular, regular for AAA, uh, Ryan Kidd. And then here's Infernal Dragon. Really wants to make his mark. You know, he really looked up to Ryan Kidd. Oh, and a oh! dive to the outside. He is coming to make a statement. I will tell you, bro, I know you weren't here, but Infernal Dragon, you could just tell he was a little off last show. And it had everything to do with Ryan Kidd. Ryan Kidd wants to move on to bigger, better things. Wants a challenge at Golden State Championship, but he's gonna have to deal with Inferno Dragon first. Bro, it doesn't look like he's having an off day today. It looks like he's on his day here. Oh, just like that, the turn tide turns, just as I talk about it. They say, bro, those primetime players, when the lights get brightest, is they really come out. And look at Inferno Dragon in there. That's a beautiful drop kick. Cover goes for the one, we've got two. Only a two count. It's gonna take a little more to put away a veteran like Ryan Kidd. 
Mr. Excitement. Bro. It's exciting night tonight, bro. Was that Benjamin Thomas that I saw That's earlier Benjamin today? Thomas, yeah. I'm just wondering if he's going to put negative comments as he used to do about our matches underneath the photos. Yeah, I mean, I would hope he does. Yeah, hey, that's you know. A stickler, yeah. Stay consistent, Seth. That's right. Stay consistent. I'm not chop. Bro, we've got wrestlers past and present in the crowd and here in the locker room, so exciting day. Listen to the shots these guys are taking. Excited to see the enforcer and the referee for the championship match, bro. You got the waiting one, Jason Redondo, former SoCal Pro Heavyweight Champion, is going to be here. Ryan Kidd is definitely getting the licks taken to him. Oh, yeah, one of the most popular and fastest rising superstars here, Inferno Dragon. Oh. He was looking good right up until that miscalculation. That's where that veteran status comes in for Ryan Kidd. Oh! His chest is going to be sore tomorrow. Dangerous place to be up on the top rope. Looks like he's going for that superplex. Oh, he he's still got him prepped. He's got him hooked. Could this, could he get it? He's got him. Oh, he does a little wiggle. Oh, he goes, oh, wow. From the very top rope, you saw both men crash down to the mat. <laughs> Ryan Kidd did not get the best of that one. Went for the cover, but bro, both those guys, that hurt, that shocked them. Just a, just a big hit shock to the system. We're gonna see the maturation process of Inferno Dragon in there. Because I'll tell you, if he wants to continue on, he has to deal with Ryan Kidd. Ryan Kidd shot to the corner. Oh, and a kick right to the side of the head. Inferno Dragon's wobbly, oh, he got a cover! And was that out of nowhere? It, I mean, it looked like it to me. Oh, let's look at Ryan Kidd. Oh, he's pumping himself up. Inferno Dragon went to the outside to catch his breath. But this is, oh! Oh, this seems through the outside. You want to do that to me? Let me show you how it's done, young man. And that's what we're seeing right there in the veteran Ryan Kidd. Don't let the name fool you. It says Kidd on the end. But that's with two Ds. Did you say two Ds? Yeah, yeah. It's trademarked. Yeah. Oh, and you can hear the crowd showing the displeasure. You know, it's been a while since these fans have really turned on Ryan Kidd like this. He's been super popular. People have been coming out to see him. Been touching his wings. Today he came up with horns. Ryan Kidd mocking the fans. Inferno Dragon back up. He's in the corner. Ryan Kidd walking over to him. Taking his time. Ooh. Big forearm shot. Oh. Oh, Busted he's in his chest open. He's looking at the crowd taunting him. Reversal, Kid goes hard into the corner. Up, oh, float over. And Kid thought he threw him on the outside, missed it. And there's a shot from Infernal Dragon. Oh! He had Beautiful. that scouted, bro. He had it scouted. Ryan Kidd with that shot may have tweaked his knee a little bit. He's definitely looking at the lights, thinking about everything going on. Goes to the cover, that's where he should be. Two and a half. Yeah, you know, surprising there, bro. He didn't hook a leg. Usually Ryan Kidd's a little smarter about that. He'll usually hook a leg, you know, put a forearm across his face. Still to come, bro, the Golden State Championship defended in a lumberjack match. Man, you're gonna have this room surrounded with wrestlers. You can hear the crowd behind Inferno Dragon. Inferno Dragon. Inferno! Remember him? Where's, uh, where's Charles Steele when you need him? Hardest clothesline in the business. Oh, for a shot, but he got cut! Yurinagi! In the middle! Could be it! Go for the cover! Bro, you get opportunities like that, you've got to take it. You've got to go for that cover right away. You know how many seconds you need, right? All it takes is three. All it takes is three. Just think how exciting this match is. We have so much more action coming up soon for everyone watching at home, everyone that's here. You can get some excitement going. If you guys have not checked out, also check out the recap of this entire show on SoCal Pro TV. Make sure you subscribe. New episodes on Saturdays. 
That rotten, rotten smash, bro. Rah, 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 rah. Try to go for that Yurinagi again. Blocked by Kid. Oh! oh. 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 Hit him with an exploder right into the corner. And Ryan Kid had to take the powder. Inferno looks like he sees an opportunity. He is climbing to the top. On the outside, this is dangerous, bro. Dangerous place to be. Ryan Kid still checking that knee. Inferno! Oh, wow. Landed on his feet. What agility. Ryan Kidd out there still favoring the knee. That's the kind of response you want. Yes, fans. Yes, it was. Inferno Dragon to the top. Is this his moment? Did he got it? Oh! <laughs> That's a big miss. Ryan came with the roll. This is what he did last time. Tights. Bro, that is exactly how he won before. Ryan Kidd is looking in disbelief. That's That was his ticket. Referee back turn, low blow by Ryan Kidd. I don't know this Ryan Kidd, bro. Bro, sometimes you gotta do what you can to stay on top. He's been on top so long, he just doesn't know another way not to get there. Calling his shot. He's got that brain buster and he hit it! Oh, and that's not all. He is ascending to the top rope. Gonna add a little insult to injury there. Listen to this cr capacity crowd going crazy for Inferno Dragon. Ryan Kidd does not know what's going on. He had him. He hit both shots, and it still wasn't enough. Bro, he's going back up there. If one didn't work, I'm sure two will. Dragon cannot survive this. Oh, he missed it. Inferno Dragon, he's pulling himself up. He got caught. Ryan Kidd up quickly, but... Oh! He might be out sitting up there on the top rope. Oh, a second. No. From the top? No. Brain Buster's already dangerous enough as it is. Inferno using that rope for leverage. back in a bad place in the middle of the ring. <coughs> oh, he got to win! One, two, what a match and what a win!
That is a man that came in on a mission, bro, and he wanted to prove something to himself and to these fans, and Inferno Dragon did exactly that tonight. He definitely got the best of Ryan Kidd. So great showing for this guy. Ryan Kidd is upset. He said, bro, he when he was gonna shake his hand in the middle of that ring. And that's what he's expecting. He said he would do it. Sportsmanship. That is good to see, bro. That's really good to see. Bro, what a great first match so far. I mean, we got a lot of great matches to come. 16th anniversary, we've got the we've got the Hall of Fame coming up. We got a lot of great matches. The SoCal Pro title is going to be on the line. The Golden State Championship is going to be on the line. Bro, we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Hall of Fame, bro. One of the legendary tag teams. Multi-time SoCal Pro tag team champions. Anchors away. Going to be inducted tonight. Bro, but these jackets are our honor for them. That's right. They're an inspiration. This is, this is yeah. inspiration for them. So. so we've had a lot of great tag teams come through SoCal Pro Wrestling. I mean, you know, um, you know, the Mirror Image and uh, you know, um, the Ballards. And the Ballards. Bro, let's take it up to the ring. Don't forget about All the right, young we're bucks. Here. Off with a bang. Make some noise for Soul Cal Pro, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let's keep that energy up. For this next contest, scheduled for one fall. One fall. Came down the ramp safely. Gotta give him props for that. Gotta give him that. He is looking jacked. J -j 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 jacked. Anthony Idol, the neon phenomenon. The Platinum Punisher here getting ready to put it on Fidel Bravo Bravo.
Lucky fan's gonna walk away with that souvenir. Bro, at first glance, one would say, well, look. Look at the size of Anthony Idol in comparison to Fidel Bravo. But do not underestimate this man has won everywhere he has been, holding multi-championships. Oh, the longest reigning Golden State's champion. Bro, these guys are no strangers to each other. They've had battles up and down California. Yep. In the Empire. Definitely taking shots in the end of the Empire. Bravo's gonna take his time. He's oh. on the outside. Bro, after that chop, I'd take his time if I were him too. And Idol is in pursuit. That's a smart maneuver. You wanna tire that big man out. I mean, bro, I've seen Fidel Bravo go an hour. Listen, no problem. I love how Idol is cutting off those corners. Definitely got some former football skills in oh, there. Oh, all former All-American right there. It's about angles. Oh, wow. I'd get on his horse and get to going. Now those chops from Ryan Kidd were hard, but imagine those. Oh, gotta give the fans what they want. <laughs> did, did you hear that? I get shivers in my spine. See it, heard it, hear it, I felt it. I think I heard uh, Fidel Bravo ask referee for a timeout. Empty Nato, big scoop slam right in the middle of the ring. Ooh, kicks Bravo down. That sweet corkscrew elbow. That looked like Buddy Landell. That's to me. right, he dusted it off right there. Anthony Idol in phenomenal shape. I mean, look at him, he looks great. With the man, oh, came in with a clothesline. Bravo, this has not been his night. He's getting a little manhandled in there. But don't count him out, bro. This man is smart. He knows what he's doing in there. And everything he does has a plan. Look. Idol with a shot. You see that shot right to oh, the head? Right hand, right to the top. Idol simplifying the process. Brute strength is what's gonna get this done for him. I mean, he has that advantage, so you always wanna work to your advantage. He went for a clothesline. Bravo caught it, caught that arm. Idol could be hurt. I mean, Idol has had an issue with a bicep before, so he needs to be careful. Don't care how big you are, kick in the back of the head will do it. Now it's Fidel Bravo putting the boots to Anthony Idol. Fidel Bravo still holding that chest. Not only does he have the leg on his throat, but he's pulling up on that rope for extra. You know, choking that man, you can hear him. Bro, especially big men, hey, he takes a lot of oxygen in. Starts getting short of breath, he's gonna have a problem. Now here comes Bravo coming back on him with a chop, but they don't seem to having a lot of effect on He's him. idling him up. Look at him. I think that may have made him angry. Oh. <laughs> Picking Fidel Bravo up by that hair. Plenty of it. Ooh, got him. Got him in the power slam position, bro. Could be, is this it? Oh, drove him in the middle. Put the thump on him. That was definitely the JYD right there. Oh, an idol. Idol up to the top, to the second at least. That beautiful fist. Oh. Fidel moved. Going back to the arm, bro. I told you he had a plan. He knows, he knows what he's doing in there. You take one of those limbs off. That, a lot of that upper body strength, you take away one of those arms, that, that affects it. Ooh, drop kick right to the face. Saw Anthony Idol's head snap back. Oh, and the fans showing their displeasure for Fidel Bravo Bravo. 
draping that arm across the rope. These fans cheering Anthony Idol on. Bro, he's trying to cut off the circulation to the big man. You need blood, you need that oxygen running through to keep that strength up. Fatigue can happen very easily. Oh, Anthony Idol, show him no, he's still there. He's still with us. Bro, look at how bent he has his, his head all the way down, getting that flow of blood to it. But Anthony Idol picking him up. Shots right to the midsection. Bravo to the ropes. Went for that close line. Oh! Bravo caught him. DDT in the middle. Goes right for a cover. And Power out. Oh! Could be it. He is relentless, bro. First one, a lot of power. Didn't have a lot of power on that second one. That kick to the back of the head may have done something. Damn, it's starting to take a toll on Anthony Idol. Oh, shot right on top of the head. What a maneuver from Fidel Bravo. I, I thought I was close. I thought that was going to be three. Fidel Bravo ready to get out of here. He wants his three count and go. Bro, he went from the arm to the brain. Yeah, brain. It's in there. You do stuff to it. Went for that kick. Oh, he made it one hand. Oh! Picked him up with one hand into that power bomb. The power. That was one arm. Oh, he's, he's showing the moves. That's right, see the feet. He has to use the other arm. He's using those jabs, bro. He used the jab to get the distance. Oh, and he gets a bionic elbow. Bravo's on his on the ground. Almost on the ground. Picks him up, big suplex. Oh! <laughs> and the end got that Adam driver and he got it. Oh, what a match, bro, what a match. Bro, greatest action so far. Anthony Idol coming here and showing us what it's about. Great match for Del Bravo. I mean, it looked like he had it there. He had the right moves, he had the right strategy, but that power of the big man just overcame. The former Golden State champion came up short. A lot of great action still. 16th anniversary. SoCal Pro Wrestling, if you guys have not gone to SoCal Pro TV, make sure you do so. Make sure you subscribe and you watch that every week. It's going to give you a great recap. You're going to get to hear our voices sometimes, and you hear other voices. But, you know, you get to hear our voices. You're going to be in there. You're going to be excited. Rock and roll. Let's do this. Looks like we're coming up to the ring. Rip them.
people that I protect. It's about my children and the people who look up to me. Wherever you're the boy and the crowd who believes in the power of the show, and tonight we fight together because tonight is the night of Tortuga. Tortuga power! You know what time it is, right, bro? It's lumberjack time. And here we see some of the lumberjacks coming out. It's tortuga time. Listen to the ovation for Tortuga, the mighty Tortuga. Who is Tanner Black? I'm not just a man. I'm not just the Golden State champion. I am an opportunist. And an opportunist knows when to make their move and when to play their pawns first. I am always two moves the moment you think you're about to capture the final piece, checkmate. You can't check the king. Bro, listen to this crowd. They are 100% behind Tortuga. I'm 
so Hi, bro. Did you see the toughest man in SoCal Pro? Hey, he is a different man. Tanner Black, his version came out, won the Golden State Championship, and has done everything necessary to defend it or to keep it. Well, we've got Lumberjacks on the outside. All right, nowhere to run, bro. There's men on the outside that are gonna throw you back in. Bro, Lumberjack match for the Golden State Championship. Tortuga used to the men in black, already trying to distract. Look at that beautiful roll through by Tortuga. Nowhere for Tanner Black to go, bro. Everybody on the outside, their goal, and for those of you that don't know what a lumberjack match, their goal is to make sure that everything stays in the ring. Someone goes to the outside, the lumberjack's responsibility is to bring them into the ring. Oh, Tortuga, look at the agility from the big man. That's a 270 pounder. Formerly from Sonora, from Sonora, Sonora, there you go, bro. The power of Tortuga. Is Tortuga power? Tanner Black looking at him, he's going to the outside, but the Lumberjacks are there. Oh, and he gets brought in the hard way. Tortuga showing you why his name is Mighty. He's taking it to Tanner Black. T-O-R-T-U-G-A power, bro. Tortuga power. Oh, big splash into the corner. Well, he has such a massive and low center of gravity. I mean, he is really like a bowling ball, like pure muscle just coming at him. It is gonna take Tanner Black some smarts to maneuver his way through this match. He just used some of those, got out of the way, and now he has his boot on the throat of Tortuga. with his men in black, forgive it, on the outside. Men in black. No, no, they're, they're different. Galaxy. Nope. Smith. We're oh. talking about okay. slapping on. Up town, baby. Up town. Tanner to the second. Oh, gets him. Close to the cover, this could be it. Referee signaled only a two cut on that. Tanner spending a little time. John out there with some of the Lumberjacks. Needs to focus on Tortuga if he wants to get this win. Ooh, elbow right to the center of his chest. That's where he's soft and center his underbelly, bro. Because his back is like a shell, you know. Strong. That's, that's turtles, actually. You might be right, you might be right. Oh! Almost knocked him off the top rope. Now he's setting Tanner back up on that top rope. Bad place to be. The oh. power! <laughs> Sent him flying through the air. Tortuga with the cover. It took Tanner Black everything he had to kick out of that, bro. Bro, from coming, crashing down from the top rope, he's tough. You he can might be one of the toughest. And you can see, bro, it took a lot out of Tortuga as well. Oh, and Tanner Black is on the outside. Smart maneuver to throw him to the outside. Beat him to his guys. They just tossed him right back in. Let me tell you, bro, he got off easy. I mean, normally you throw a guy to the other side, He's gonna get the boots, boots put to him. Putting the boots to him. That's the fun about a lumberjack match. Oh, speaking of boots, he got that caught right in the face. Oh, he's, he's ripping at the mask. Bro, that mask is sacred. You don't wanna mess with that thing. Tanner just choking Tortuga over that second rope. We're gonna this match for the- Ah, oh, see, here we go. Bro, he wasn't on the outside. His head was on the outside of the rope. 
Reversal. Oh, Tortuga telegraphed that. Tanner Black spotted it. Kick it, he's got the cover, he's got the leg hook. Referee signaled only two. Tanner Black thought he had it. Starting to see the frustration on Tanner, Black, Tanner Black's face. Is she Tanner's mama's here? No, no, she's not. He's grown now, he's grown. What? Yeah, he don't need his mama. He still loves her, but he don't need his mama. Oh, he threw him right into the post. Tortuga's on the outside, bad place to be. And oh, Tanner Black's. I Andy told y'all, they're putting the boots to him. Referee is being distracted, doesn't see what's going on. Oh, now they dump him in after inflicting the damage. Oh, Tanner Black goes to cover. The oh. intelligence of Tanner Black, bro. You know, really impressive here. I mean, you can see he has that champion's edge. You know, they say when you win a championship, just some clicks for you and you, you start to progress and you start to, to understand things that you wouldn't when you weren't champion. And he's doing those because he wants to keep that title. Oh, it also puts a target on his back. He is a wanted man. Come on, Mona. You can feel the emotion in this building right now. The utter disdain for Tanner Black. I think he said to respect his authority. right to the stomach. Soften him up. Got him, threw him, oh, went over the top rope. Tortuga with the right. Oh, close line. Back in the corner and he gets caught. Tortuga getting ahead of Steen. Oh! Big Tortuga splash. Tanner Black in a bad place. He gave him the shell. Oh, the big man going. He's on the second rope. Oh, and he caught him. This could be it. I thought he had him on that 273 pounds crashing on Tanner Black. Looks like we almost had a new SoCal Pro Golden State champion. These two men giving it their all, bro. The title of SoCal Pro Wrestling prestigious. The who's who has held them. These fans are so energetic. They're going toe to toe, shot for shot. Tortuga's letting it go. He's letting his hands go. Oh, dropped him with a DDT. <laughs> Referee counting both men. He's up to two. Bro, if it's a lumberjack wrestling artist, if he counts to 10, that match is over. And the advantage to the champion. It hasn't been a mistake. Well, it hadn't been a mistake. Referee up to seven. Oh, Tanner Black is up. And Tortuga's to his feet. Both men wobbled. Oh, big goal! Samoan drop. And Tanner Black is still looking around. Suplex by Tortuga. He's waiting on Tanner Black. Got him shell shocked. Oh, bottom over. No 
look like an F5. Tortuga go to the ropes. On the ropes. Oh! That was a chair! Bro, because it's a lumberjack match. Not the same type of rules. Oh, he's gonna! Oh! Tanner hit him with it. This could be it. it. No, this cannot be. This could be a travesty of justice. He got him. that flag, bro. And that, that man in black is in the middle of the ring. Wait, he, wait, who, who is that? It's, it's, it's Ricky Mandel! Why, Ricky, why? You know, I think my nephew Sal's asking the exact same thing right now. He's gonna have a lot to talk about on this podcast. He's watching us right now on YouTube. I cannot believe that. Ricky Mandel, former Golden States champion. In the employment of Tanner Black. You just knew Tanner Black was gonna find a way, bro. You know, whether it's underhanded or not, I mean, he walked away with the Golden State's championship again. Bro, this was probably Tortuga's best opportunity to walk away with that Golden State championship. He had, it was a lumberjack match. There was no way he was gonna get away, but there was no way he could know that. They had to have concocted this dastardly plan. Money talks, bro, what can I say? Money talks. And Tanner Black seems to have a lot of money. That's one thing, his mama showed him how to save and how to invest, because you know he definitely has enough funds to surround himself with all these men in black and now going out and getting the services of Ricky Mandel? Mandel wow. Former champion, former SoCal Pro champion, former Golden State champion, former Tag Team champion. I, I just can't believe it. I, I'm, still, I'm still in shock. I'm gonna be surprised to see what they have to say on SoCal Pro TV. Make sure you guys don't miss it. You go out there and subscribe. Rod Ronnie Thrash. On Saturdays. And there's another guy with Rod Ronnie Thrash. You know who it is? I don't remember exactly off the top oh, of my head. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah. But Rod Ronnie Thrash is on there, so make sure you check him out. SoCal Pro TV. Bro, Tortuga just, just wow, just heart wrenching. You got to give it to the guy. He's got heart. He's not done. He's not done by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Bro, we still have matches to go. We do, we do. Yeah, well, you know how Tortuga turned me down last time? Yeah. Well, I went and talked to Tanner Black. How'd it go? It was okay. No, 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 no. Stop. That's not what I said. Or, it, hey, hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner. <laughs> hey, he'll call you back. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, champ. Hey, champ. Yeah, check it out. So, uh, Tortuga came up to me last week, and he was begging me. He was begging me to be one of his lumberjacks. But you know what I told him? I told him, you know what? I think I'd rather be Tanner Black's lumberjack. So, let me ask you, what do you say to old Rotten Ronnie being one of your lumberjacks? What do you say, champ? That is a stupid idea. What, what, what are you, 60? Uh, Tell I'm, me, God. What? I, I'm not, uh, I'm not 60. 
you know, <laughs> I, I still think I got a chance. I think I got a chance. And, you know, yeah, go, do you think? Yeah, talk. Ladies and gentlemen, on today's program, you will be seeing the heavyweight championship as the Black Rose Judiz defends against CJ Tino. Oh, man, wasn't that a great match? But you know it's going to be an even better match? Come the anniversary show, when Judiz takes on Tommy Wilson, and Tommy Wilson beats the snot out of him. <laughs> well, hold your horses on that. We will also see Inferno Dragon taking on Anton Carrillo. Yeah, wasn't that a... You know what? That, that gives me an idea. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, go ahead, Andy. <laughs> that plus the first time ever since March 18th, we will be hearing from SoCal Crazy live in the studio this afternoon. That's right. And do you know who's going to interview him? Do you, Internet Land? <laughs> it's going to be me. Oh, Rotten Ronnie. And it's going to be the best interview you've ever seen. You watch. It will be the best. And we will also see our, our newest inductees in the SoCal Pro Hall of Fame. You mean be, there's, there's two more guys coming in besides Mr. Impressive? Mr. Impressive is not going to be at the Mr. Hall of Fame. Mr. Impressive is in the Hall of Fame. He's not. Yes, he is. He is in the Hall of Fame. And then, and then you will be sorry. I think you will be sorry. You will be sorry! You never know what you can get in your pro wrestling loot box. That is for sure. What are you doing now? <laughs> you know what time it is, Andy. It's time for my loot box. And look what I got today. I got a Mick Foley pop. <laughs> I even got a signed Kamala toy. And, and the coup de grace, baby. I got some Reese's Pieces. <laughs> in that. Give me my Reese's Pieces, Andy. Don't you ever touch my Reese's Pieces. I'll destroy you. Now. If you want your own Reese's Pieces or a signed Kamala toy, then you got to go to ProWrestlingLoot.com. You got to type in the promo code. Wrestle. That's right. And then your first box is 20% off. I've been telling you it's 20% off on everything, but I was wrong. Andy gave me the wrong information again, but you get 20% off on the first box you order. Isn't that great, Andy? There's a special place in hell for people like you. <laughs> yes, there is. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you now to the ringside as Anton Carrillo takes on Inferno Dragon. Phenomenal action by Anton Carrillo and Inferno Dragon. Would you stop that, please? You know, you know, you know what we should do instead? Instead of doing the, the whole Anton C Camillo versus um, uh, Inferno Dragon match, we should do, we should watch the newest dance craze, Disco Inferno Dragon. Go ahead, Andy. Pop out your phone. Go to Cuckoo Clock. Check it out. Check it out. Go ahead.
Isn't that great, Andy? <laughs> you know what? That's gonna go venereal. You mean viral? No, I, you know, you're always contradicting me, always Andy. Contradicting I said me. what I said. And you want to argue every single time we have this story. Every if you time talk you and you talk, and I never get anything out of it. Well, well, I want to get my rocks off. Let's take you now to Jude Diz defending his heavyweight championship against CJ Tino. <laughs> and here we are. We're back. And guess who we got in the studio? We got SoCal Crazy. SoCal, man, how you doing, buddy? How do you think I'm doing, Thrash? Oh, I don't know. That's why I asked you. Tell us the story. Do I look happy to you? I mean, uh, no. Do I look thrilled? No. no. Did you not see what happened to me? Yeah. Were you not there? Uh, uh, I, I was. This was supposed to be a special moment for myself and for my family. And the one person, the one person who I thought had my back through thick and thin, kicks my face in. So you're sitting here, Thrash, all jolly, and I'm glad you are. Tommy, what you did has no respect and has no love. You talk about you sit here and you talk about 2015, how I betrayed you. Tommy, we're in the professional wrestling business. Our main objective is to win titles. Yes, did I turn my back on you? I did. The reason I did that is because I wanted to be heavyweight champion. You sit here and you say you're five-time SoCal Pro heavyweight champion, and I've always looked up to you. When we both died, when we were both dying, my friend Tommy Wilson never came back. I don't know who this Tommy is. I don't know what you saw in the afterlife. But whatever you saw, you brought back. And it turned your heart black. Uh, you know, so, so Cal, I got to ask, I got to ask, everybody wants to know, what are you going to do April 15th? The only answer I have for that thrash, for you, for the fans, but more especially for you, Tommy, when I do get back in the ring, you are going to feel my vengeance. You broke my heart. I have to return the favor, Tommy. Well, you know, you're going to have to wait in line, SoCal, because Tommy Wilson's going to have his hands full with this man. What's cracking? You know what it is. It's the Black Rose, the benevolent brother, Jew Diz, with a message for Tommy Wilson. Can't believe you did what you did, bruh. But come to think about it, 
You've done exactly what you've always done. You've done what you've been known to do since you were the mega king, the mega star. It's always got to be about you, huh? We're trying to celebrate a night of resilience, a night of SoCal crazy, and you do that? For real? And it's all for this? You see, you call yourself a five-time champion, but that don't even matter, because I wasn't here when you was holding this championship. And since I've been holding this, you've been going in the win. I carried this company on my back while you was on your deathbed. And now that you're back, I'm going to put you back to rest April 15th. 16 year anniversary. Come get it, bro. You know, Tommy Wilson is going to have his hands full. That's for sure. But, you, you know, uh, besides anything, I got to know. I got to know what SoCal Crazy is going to do on April 15th. A lot of answers to be answered, that is for sure. But, ladies and gentlemen, we do have an answer to one question. The newest inductees in this year's SoCal Pro Hall of Fame will be the tag team of Anchors Away. Oh, man, that's great. I love Ryan Stone. Man, that guy's awesome. And, uh, and the other guy who was with, uh, that, that guy. Uh, David E. Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, that guy wasn't that great. But, you know, Ryan Stone was phenomenal, man. That's so awesome that he got it. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, that and so much more. Just remember that SoCal Pro returns next Saturday to Vista. Saturday, April 15th at the Vista Boys and Girls Club, SoCal Pro Wrestling is celebrating 16 years of providing Southern California with some of the greatest wrestling it's ever seen. Join us as Eddie Islas faces off against a SoCal Pro Grand Slam champion Ricky Mandel in singles action. The Pool Party World Tour continues as the neon phenomenon Anthony Idol takes on World Traveler in his own right, Fidel Bravo. After being exposed for his underhanded victory, will the simmering bad blood start to boil over or will cooler heads prevail as Mr. Excitement, Ryan Kidd, takes on Inferno Dragon. And after it's all said and done, Dragon, I'll give you the handshake you want, but after that, you're gonna raise my hand. After retaining his title the past two months by disqualification, how much impact will Tanner Black's mass henchmen have without the element of surprise as the challenging Tortuga will have backup of his own in a lumberjack match for the SoCal Pro Golden State Championship? Every time we step foot in the ring together, you run away like a coward. The only thing I have in mind now is a mission, and that is to stomp your shell in Tortuga, because you, to me, are nothing but a piece of shell. I'm walking out the Golden State Champion. In the main event, two of the most prolific and accomplished athletes to ever set foot in a SoCal Pro ring square off for the coveted SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship. Five-time SoCal Pro Champion Tommy Wilson looks to dethrone the longest reigning and most dominant champion the SoCal Pro fans have ever seen, the Black Rose, Jew Diz. The two greatest heavyweight champions this company's ever seen. Five times I have won that championship. Jew Diz, he's held that belt for nearly five years. Can't believe you did what you did, bro. Come to think about it, You've done exactly what you've always done. It's always gotta be about you, huh? We're trying to celebrate a night of resilience, a night of SoCal crazy, and you do that? And it's all for this? The very best goes against the very best. The biggest match in this company's history. I wasn't here when you was holding this championship. And since I've been holding this, you've been going in the win. I carried this company on my back. Come get it, bro. To make sure the match is called down the middle, the match will be officiated by the first ever SoCal Pro Champion and SoCal Pro Hall of Famer, Radiant Jason Redondo. Join us for a special night as we welcome Anchors Away into the SoCal Pro Hall of Fame and celebrate 16 years of SoCal Pro Wrestling. Tickets available now at SoCalProWrestling.com.
16 years in the making, ladies and gentlemen, SoCal Pro will return to Vista Saturday, April 15th. We can't wait to see you all there. Thank you so much for watching. Wow, 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 Andy Dandy, you're missing the best part of the show. It's now time for Rotten Ronnie's most stupendous match of the week. Uh, this one, this one comes to us from Hell, Michigan. You know, I had to go to a place called Hell. I figure, hey, what the hell? Let's go to Michigan, right? <laughs> Anyways, I was at a show on a Saturday at 1 a.m. And, uh, you know, the show was cool, but it was the promoter. The promoter had everything. Let's take a look, Andy Dandy. <laughs> Wasn't that great? Boy, that guy had all the fire, all the brimstone. Man, that guy clearly made a deal with the devil. Thanks, Hell, Michigan. Can't wait to do it again with you next Saturday on a 1 a.m. Speaking of next Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you next Saturday, April 15th, as SoCal Pro returns to present its 16-year anniversary. This has been SCP-TV.
Chapo. Nothing to beat with Kate. Nothing to beat Kate. I didn't get no cake. I mean, I got the LPC cake, which was awesome. I want, a, I want a piece of that. How you doing there, Toy Story? <laughs> all right, Jeff, so. Jeff, all we got was love and respect, bro. I'm going to have to do this after you guys. I'm sorry. But that, that's just how much these guys need to be. So. And, you know, 
I hit the leg drop, and I remember I went for a pin, and I'm like, hey, sorry, buddy, as I laugh crazily at him. And he smells it, and he's like, oh, you're such a jerk. And I held him to the mat just so that he could walk in my glory. And what was great is the ref didn't even get close to do the count. <laughs> uh, and Andy, you know, and Andy, I, I didn't really get to have a lot of like solo matches with Andy. Um, you know, but David E. Jones was just one of the best gimmicks I've ever seen. And oh yes. And you know, I, I gotta say, when I got to wrestle both of those guys, you know, they were so awesome because I got to I got to debut my my finishing uh, tag team move, which was called Tornado of Swords. And you know, basically what it was is I had um, someone on one end of the rope, someone on the other end of the rope, and they'd run at me at the same time, and I'd hit Swing in the Dead and a Sidewalk Slam, Tornado of Souls. So I debuted that with the anchors, and I remember we all hit, and man, <laughs> afterwards they, were, they came up to me like, Thrash, never again. That move sucks. No, never again. Andy, what'd you think of the move? I hated it. Don't ever do it again. But you know what? Uh, that's enough for me. How about we get to a great uh, video package that we have for you about Anchors Away, everybody. Give it up for them. Who are we doing this on here? Anchors Away? No, 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 I'm not that was good. You're looking at the 2008 Southern California Tag team. We, we're so good. The polls aren't even closed. And look who's holding the trophies. You know what? Southern California, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Anchors away. I mean, what can I say? These are two guys who did great things here. You know, usually, of course, me and my bro tag for quite a bit of time. And to have two guys that are not brothers be so close and to tag are so well. I mean, they just continuously entertain the crowd, whether it was for positive or for negative, whether it was making children cry, whether it was making people cheer. I mean, these guys, they, they did what they needed to. They got over. They got over, and people liked exactly what they were looking for. We're here to prove a point. We're not going to wait for opportunity anymore. We're going to take it. We deserve to be at the top. We deserve to be considered like Tommy Wilson, SoCal Crazy, Ricky Mandel, at the very top. We deserve it. I mean, definitely one of the most popular tag teams in SoCal Pro history. You know, a lot of people came to see them. They had a lot of memorable moments, not only here in SoCal Pro, but in a lot of places. I was sitting in the crowd when out of nowhere, they came out for Ring of Honor. I mean, that's awesome. How many tag teams get to do that? I mean, we never did that. And look how famous we are. When you see Davy Jones, you see Ryan So, you see Anchors Away. You see the most consistent team in Southern California and one of the last few true tag teams. If there was somebody that would get an award for Children Crime, uh, it would be David E. Jones. Let me tell you something, we're not back because we want to be here. We're not back because we love the fans. Because please believe me when I say this, I hate the fans of SoCal Pro Wrestling. In all seriousness, I mean, two great guys. You guys have done so much for SoCal Pro, so much for wrestling. It's been a great honor to see you guys do what it is that you do, uh, get the success and achieve the places that you guys went. Anchors away, not a more deserving tag team out there right now to be inducted in this Hall of Fame. Uh, just congratulations, guys. This is your time. Congratulations. You guys said it.
this, guys. I mean, you guys know you're my favorite tag team ever to grace a squared circle. And I am so happy to induct you into the SoCal Pro Hall of Fame. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> I love you. You're my brother. 
and I love you. <laughs> they asked me before I went out here, they said, what are the chances of, of you crying? And I was like, ah, no. Uh, here I am. <laughs> um, <clears throat> thank you. I'll, I'll do that again. Um, it's so funny holding a microphone and not telling you all to shut up. And we... You know, for, for those of you who are fairly new and never seen us before, um, we were we were probably the most hated tag team here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, and we we were lucky enough to to participate in this promotion and many other promotions. And throughout that time, we were able to go up and down California and, and across some other states and um, even into Mexico and. Not only have fun matches and, and wrestle some great people, but we also won a lot of championships, so that's really fun. Um, we still hold the record for the most times won the tag team championships here at SoCal Pro, so I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. Um, uh, just like my partner, uh, Ryan Stone, we'll call him Trevor just for fun. <laughs> Just like you said, uh, listen, here, here's the truth, and, and, and I'll give you uh, a, a glimpse into how pro wrestling works. It's, it's rare to see a promoter of a promotion that doesn't put himself in the spotlight and put himself in matches and storylines and angles and all that stuff. And Jeff Dino is able to run this promotion for 16 years and turn San Diego upside down without having to do that. He's an incredible person, an incredible human being. I'm proud to say he's my friend. <laughs> his wife, Kristen, is now his partner in crime, and she puts up with a lot of crap that a lot of wives of pro wrestlers do, you know? <laughs> because it's, it's kind of difficult to do what we do. There's a lot of attention that goes into it. Um, but I will say at the end of the day, it's, it's worth it, because a silly little dream sometimes could be wrestling in front of 15 people um, in some rinky-dink parking lot. And I, we were lucky enough to do much better than that. Um, so I want to thank all of you who were here following us through our journey over the past so many years of doing this. I want to thank, I want to thank tag teams we wrestled against like Rick Ellis and, uh, uh, Rick Ellis and Ariel Starr and the Dynamics, the Bauer Brothers. People that were lucky enough, that we were lucky enough to come in contact with, or other promotions like uh, Josh Waldrop and the late great John Ian. God bless you, John. Dave Marquez, Jesse Hernandez, Mark Kavinsky, the, the, the list goes on and on. Um, but most of all, I, I want to say it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to think that you're this old when you're saying thank you for being in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> my back hurts. Um, but here's the truth. One day, Jude Diz, Anthony Idol, Ryan Kidd, Infernal Dragon, Ricky Mandel, Tommy Wilson, these are all people that will be inducted in the Hall of Fame one day. Yeah. And for those of you who are seeing their journey live, consider yourself lucky because these people are absolutely amazing. And so are you, and so is SoCal Pro. So thank you all very much. On the count of three, listen, we don't get to do it very often, but I would like to say hoorah with the crowd one time. Because when we said it, nobody liked us. So maybe now we can get you all involved. So on the count of three, if we can give one big hoorah. You ready? One, two,
bro, after such a moving speech, Mr. Impressive comes trying to ruin it. The disrespect, this is the Hall of Fame ceremony. This is their guys' moments. They're living in the Hall of Fame. Boo! Somebody signed that kid to a contract. We could use them. We could use them on those. I am Mr. President tonight. I am here to be inducted into the SoCal Pro Hall of Fame. Oh. By the Dean of Students at Kapai City University in Dean Lemiad. As a man who owns both a dictionary and a thesaurus, it is my honor to have you here, my friend. Thank you. You're a loser. 
That's the anchors the way I remember.
Guys, having a good time at the 16th anniversary show so far. All right, we got lots more action still to come. Starting right now with this one-on-one -on -one contest. This contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Sexy Beach. He weighs 215 pounds. Ricky Is the dopest part of the body where those good tacos are right on that right hand side? You know exactly where it is, Bo. You know exactly where it is. Well, we're back for a great action. Hall of Fame. Wow. Well deserving the second tag team inductors in SoCal Pro Hall of Fame. Look at Ricky Mandel. He is a specimen. Just look at him. Yes, yeah, Ricky Mandel returning to SoCal Pro Wrestling. Former Mr. Everything going against one of the newest up-and-comers, one of the new superstars here in SoCal Pro Wrestling, Eddie Islas. This crowd always friendly behind Islas. I mean, bro, former Golden State's champion. Which is something Ricky Mando knows all too well. You saw the dastardly deed earlier as Ricky Mandel cost Tortuga the Golden State's championship. you know who the fans are going to be rooting for in this one. And you already hear the count, the calls of Eddie. Oh, the, oh, and Ricky Mandel stops all that with a shot. Putting the hammers to him. Bro, this is the former SoCal Pro heavyweight champion that's in the ring there. I think he's taking it personally. I mean, here he comes. You know, first they're celebrating anchors away. Nobody's celebrating his return. And then he's going up against a newcomer, Eddie Islas, who's one of the new staples now in SoCal Pro Wrestling. And Ricky Mandel's like, wait, wait, what, what about me? Islas, beautiful lucha. Mandel goes to that close, I misses him, but catches him. Oh, but he gets caught in that head scissors. Right into that cake. I wanted some of that cake. Oh, yeah. It looked delicious. It didn't look delicious because it was on the face of Mr. Impressive. Look at the height that Ricky Mandel got on that, all the way on his back, holding his back right now. You can hear the crowd behind Eddie Islas. And Mandel. That's a smart veteran maneuver, bro. Smart veteran maneuver there. He takes his time on the outside to collect his thoughts, but Eddie Islas is coming after him. He better look, turn around. Turn around. Ooh, chop right into him to the chiseled chest of Ricky Mandel. And a right hand. I'm not afraid to say it, bro, he's, he's chiseled. Oh yeah. Fans getting their money's worth. When you pay for front row, that's exactly what you get. You know who the LPC is supporting tonight? A loud, proud crew in the, in the audience as we speak. Putting the hammers to him. 
Referee wow. beginning his count. They're lenient on that count, I would say. A lot, of, has, yeah. a lot of celebration going on by Isla. A little showboat there. He needs to remember who this is. Keep his eye on the prize. Reversal. Mandel goes down. Oh, and Mandel put that knee buried right in his midsection. Oh. Mandel showing his affection for the crowd. Targeted attacks. Hit one right in the right in the solar plex, and then right with a boot across the neck. <laughs> Referee now admonishing him, administering the count. I mean, he gets to the count of five. He does have to the count of five, bro. Ricky Mandel knows how to use every second in there. Or again, I want to take an opportunity to say congratulations to Akers away. Two more deserving guys I could not find. They just. Man, family guys, I mean, they, they just are tremendous guys. Oh, Got oh, to know them personally. Yes, yes, congratulations, gentlemen. You deserve it. I'd clap right now. But, yeah. oh, We're wonderful. calling a match as Ricky Mandel puts a chop on Eddie Islas. I felt like I wanted to boo him. I don't know why. Yeah. That's just natural. It's just natural. Uh, I heard a kid crying, too, so, you know, that's natural for them, too. Ooh. Elbow right to the chin of Eddie Islas. Goes for recover. Could this be it? Pretty nonchalant. No, they're well, there time. Go, so you notice it works. Oh, he's not even trying to cover him. He's just burying that for him. Just humil humiliate him, bro. Into the nose. Right in his beak. <laughs> Eddie's going to need the support of these fans. You right. hear him coming alive. You can see Mandel burying that shoulder right into the midsection. He's not, he's gonna be out of air soon. Got a capacity crowd here tonight, bro. Standing room only. 16th anniversary, SoCal Pro Wrestling. Where is the 16 years gone, bro? He follows him in with a knee. Abdominal stretch. It's been a while since I've seen that. Beautiful. He did it right. Has the hands That's locked. Right. And a smart move because if you notice, he was working on solar plexus earlier. He was working right underneath that rib cage. I'll tell you something. He does not have that left leg hook around. Doesn't matter, bro. He's using that rope for leverage. Oh, look at him hammering those ribs. Those ribs are exposed when you That's position. Like that. Look at that. He's keeping himself and Islas, you know, Islas in between him and the referee. Cover the line sight. Just imagine, folks. Take that stretch to the left and feel. You can feel those ribs. Now imagine punching those or getting those elbows or getting the elbow dug into them. It yeah. hurts. Digging that elbow in there. Oh, A the referee, referee caught him. On that one. Hip toss. Good old hip toss. 60% of the time, it works every time. He's not still favoring those ribs. Now I tell you, bro, it's been four years now. Uh, you know, we put out a challenge to TNT and James McFarland unanswered. So that's what I make sure to point that out. It is year 16, and we're counting, gentlemen. We're counting. Sounds like he's a little bit of yellow. Yeah, a little yellow. That's what I heard. Almost a three count. Ricky Mandel going right back to work on that midsection of Eddie Islas. Bro, SoCal Pro 60th anniversary, the hottest wrestling show in Southern California. I heard there was another one recently, but it's the hot one. Yeah, it's the hot one. Make sure you check out, check out SCP TV on YouTube. Islas trying to come back. Oh, and he gets a shot. You can hear that. Hit in the back. Ooh, probably the back suplex. Textbook. Coastal cover has that leg hooked. Ooh, almost a three count on that. Islas still got some reserves left in the tank. It's funny. You get to see the old and the new, bro. One of the SoCal Pro originals. 
in Ricky Mandel. Ricky Mandel. Oh, there he is, his little, his little sexy beach. Drapes him over, has him perched there. <laughs> Went for that high knee. Islas rolls over. Oh, he got back elbow. Spinning back elbow, that's great. Miss section still bothering him. Went for that clothesline. Oh! Jumped up, leaping elbow. Both men are down. Sometimes you just gotta fight through that pain. Mendel kicked out at two. Two! It's really good to see. That's a rabbit punch. Good to see Troy Stone back in the house, huh? Good to see Troy Stone. Heck yeah. Oh, he got that super kick. He got it all. Let's see if this is it. And he kicked down at two. Wait, was that three? No, that was only That's two. That's signal two. Wow. That caught me by surprise. Hey, Eddie Islas, showing Ricky Mandel things are a little different now in SoCal Pro. Ricky Mandel such Setting a him up. shape. Oh, he got caught! That was also nearly three. That's where he had to pull up on that one. That would have been three. I'll tell you, bro, not for the injured portion. And then he says, you saw, it took him a second to go over to make that cover. He couldn't make that cover hooking a leg or anything, so. Both men up. Crowd still firmly behind Eddie Eastlas. Oh, Mandel waited. Played possum there, caught him with that boot. Second rope. Oh, that's a high class body. Went for the cover. Oh, Eastas has him. Has him locked. He's going for the spin. Oh, he nailed him. He muscled him up and got him. Two count only, bro. You can still see that pain still affecting Eddie Islas. Bro, tried to catch him on that. Boom, those ribs. Tried to get him up, those ribs. He's hurting, bro. Ricky Mandel, master of his crap. Oh! Walk that right tightrope. And he just missed. And he got him! What a return for Ricky Mandel here at SoCal Pro Wrestling. You know, bro, sometimes the OG's gotta come back and show these new kids, hey, you know, we was here first. But it's gonna be a good learning lesson for Eddie Islas. Mandel again, former Golden State champion, former SoCal Pro champion. Looking former tag team things. champion. Looking to do big things here. Hard fought victory, but victory nonetheless.
Bro, what a win for Ricky Mandel, and what a return. Bro, great return for Ricky Mandel. Went in there against a hard-fought hard fought opponent, and he's lost, and he came up with the victory. Bro, I have to mention, you know, again, congratulations to Anchors Away. Uh, we were very uh, honored when they asked us to have co a conversation about them. And, you know, the guys have done so much for SoCal. Well deserved, well deserved. Well deserved. The second tag team into the SoCal Pro Hall of Fame. Remember who that first was? I do remember who that first oh, was. Oh, that's right, it was us. Oh, it's right, yeah! It's nice to be back. Very nice to be back. All right, Vista. SoCal Pro fans. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, more than enough about me. It is now time for the SoCal Pro 16th anniversary main event. It's time. At this time, allow me to introduce to you the special guest the referee for tonight's main event. He is a SoCal Pro Hall of Famer. He is the very first SoCal Pro heavyweight champion, Radiant Jason Redondo. Are looking at the first ever SoCal Pro Hall of Fame inductee. That's right. First SoCal Pro heavyweight champion. You know he you know he looks a lot like Brian West. Yeah. First wrestler to ever take sweet chin music. Disgusting human being, Tommy Wilson. How can you do that to folk out friends?
This is it, bro, for the SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship. One of the longest reigning SoCal Pro Heavyweight Champions in Judea's, the number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. It is scheduled for one fall and it is for the SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Introducing first, the challenger. This man is a five-time SoCal Pro Heavyweight Champion from San Diego, California, 233 pounds, Tommy Wilson. Heavyweight champion, bro. Knowledge of self. Oh, Judas has been on a roll. This is our main event. We got Tommy Wilson in there, too. But you got to pick right now. Tell me who you pick. Can I tell you, bro? I can't even look at Tommy Wilson. Despicable, despicable acts. I mean, in the middle of a, the end of the night, a speech so cow crazy, returning, really pouring his heart out, letting us know his battle. Tommy Wilson super kicks his head clean off. Wow. If you watch CS, if you watch SoCal Pro TV, he gave an explanation as to why, but come on. Don't forget about the referee, the radiant one. Oh, it's gonna be the equalizer here. He knows every trick in the book, he's used them. I will tell you, bro, even the matched, actually, Judas may have a little bit on the power, but that experience of Tommy Wilson, man, five times SoCal Pro Heavyweight Champion. Judas using that leverage. Oh, Tommy Wilson, you talked about the wrestling prowess. But Judas, I mean, traveled everywhere. Uh, last saw him on AEW Dark. I mean, this guy is going everywhere and winning everything he possibly can. His bag must be getting heavy going through airports. Better get TSA pre-check. Collar and elbow tie up, both men. Oh, Judas got that one advantage. Oh, Tommy Wilson, first name, basis. Get the referee. The radiant one, Jason Redondo. Judas with an arm lock, trying to turn it into a hammer lock, actually trying to turn that arm over. Oh, and he got it. Tommy Wilson, too smart for that, reverses it, and now he has control of that arm. I mean, if you think of some of the names that have come through here, and that Judas has able, been able to get the W on, I mean, you're talking about the who's who. I mean, the juice. He beat the juice, bro. Moving to Guerrero. Oh, Scorpio Scott's uh, arm. Too cold Scorpio. Flash Funk, he beat him too. I mean, if he would have fought Scorpio Sky, he might have won too. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Judas going through control of the arm on Tommy Wilson. I'll tell you, some of the maneuvers Tommy Wilson tends to, to, to get over on some of the newer um, uh, wrestlers out there, that ain't gonna work with Judas. I mean, you heard from 2019. He has held the SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship. That is the longest reign I've ever heard of here in this company in its glorious 16 years. Tommy hammered on that arm. He's gonna get his arm. Oh, look at that.
bending the arm in ways it's not supposed to. You can see that bicep starting to bulge as he's turning that arm. Judas trying to get advantage, using that leverage. Oh, and he got that leg, that single leg. It's funny he used that car wheel that Tommy Wilson's known for. He was gonna pull him back. Tommy Wilson missed it. Jude Diz, I don't know which way they're going. Tommy cannot get anything. For a man of the size of Jude Diz, pull off a head scissors like that, wow. Champion is feeling it right now. Jude Diz, look at Jack. 225, 240. Knowledge of self, bro, knowledge of self. Tommy Wilson looking for something. Oh, you cannot do that. That's not only really the ref, that's the foot. No, Jason, you can't. I mean, he's the referee in there. He can do whatever he wants. He is the enforcer. Oh! You just go for the cover, just imagine! A little work on that cadence. Gotta work on that cadence. From what you were telling me in the back, this is the first time the Radiant One has refereed a match? First time. Just imagine the butterflies in there. I got a feeling he's fine. Jude is using that shoulder. Oh, and Tommy with a shot right to the chest. Shot. Right back to the arm. Ready when signals only a two count. Smart strategy by the champion. Jude is that Kimura lock. This could be submission. He could get him to tap right here. I saw Brock Lesnar do it. Yeah. Turning it over. Ooh, look at he, that. Good control. Look at that. He's got right into right into the shoulder there. Put the finger in the shoulder. See him use that foot to bring that knee down. He's got that hammer lock in there. He's wrenching it back. That hurts the arm, the elbow, the shoulder. The knowledge that you have gained over the years is just tremendous. He's putting on he's putting on a classic right here. Smart maneuver by Tommy Wilson. See him bring that leg over. <laughs> Trying to get that head, that leg scissors. That full body scissors. Now he has a reversal. Now he has him in, in a choke. He's got him in the rear naked. Yeah. Almost him out. Ooh, and he still went to that arm. See, Tommy's arm is bothering him. He would have kept that. Ooh, another shot. Didn't get all of that one, but throws him to the corner. That's that damage on those arms. Reversal. Oh, single leg again. Oh, now he's got that crab. Oh, rake right to the eyes. That'll stop any man in his tracks. Thought Tommy was going for that triangle. Oh, beautiful neck. You see the height that Jude did got off that mat. Only a one count. Referee signal. Descends to the champion to the outside. Ready one begins to count to the outside. Tommy can get the win, but to get that title, he needs Jude to be back in that ring. You know, there's a little regrouping time for Tommy Wilson. Smart strategy by him. Get some circulation back in those arms. The title can only change hands, pinfall submission. Or a stoppage. Jude is. Ghost of Sunset flip, but Tommy has the ropes. Can he hold on? Oh, he got him over. This could be one, two. Referee 
Three, one, chisel, two, clothesline. Really short change clothesline there. Tommy Wilson mocking these fans. Fans that have given him so much over the years. Look at the smart strategy by Tommy Wilson. He has all his weight. You can see he's hovering over him. All that weight on him. Junior's coming back. You can hear the bell. Oh, Tommy caught him with that elbow. Has him drenched over the rope now, right in front of the LPC crew. Jude, oh, and Jude is hanging over that rope. He's getting, he's hanging. That's the double bird, bro. The double banger. Champion coming back with chops. Judas has, he has him hung over that top rope. Oh, he's giving him shots. Three, four, five. Oh, Tommy falls. Judas goes to the cover. Could he be out? Ready one signals for only two. Oh, and he caught him, and Jude is on the outside. Ready one needs to begin that count. He's got both men on the outside, and now he begins. Right by the LPC crew. Ooh, and Mona. Tommy Wilson playing with fire. <laughs> gave the champion a little too much time oh, to rest. she just gave Tommy Wilson a shot. What is being lenient with this? Was that outside interference? He provoked her, bro. Let's be straight. Oh, he's choking the champion. Oh, he drop kicked him. Jude is landing on the back of his shoulders and his neck. Gross. Someone's gonna have to clean that up later. With all that cake. <laughs> Referee count up to almost five. Dude is enters the ring again. He has 20 until he gets out of the ring, right? No, it's 10. 10 here? 20 in Mexico? Yeah, 20 in Mexico. Okay, Mexico, it's Mexico. Oh, submission! He's got him tied up in that crucifix. Don't forget, Tommy Wilson did spend a lot of time at Ken Shamrock's Lions Den. Very familiar with a submission or two. Broke it, ooh. Nasty elbow by Tommy Wilson. Who gave him that leg drop? For some reason, I love that leg drop, bro. I think it's a Hogan thing. Probably a Hogan thing. Sends Judas in. Oh, and he's got the Weaver Lock on. We call it a sleeper? Weaver Lock? What are we doing? Uh, yeah. Anyways, he's got him in the middle of the ring. He's putting all that pressure. And this is the advantage that Tommy has. He's taller than Judas, so he's got that down. Oh, now he's got him down. He has those legs wrapped. Might as well be a rear naked choke. If Sean Jacoby was here, that's what he would call it. Yeah, that's what he would call it, yeah. 
and then he would explain how to get out of it. Yeah. Or at least his sons would tell explain how to that, get out of it. That's true. And Jax is dangerous. He is dangerous. Ooh. Referee. Oh, Judas still has a little bit in him. He was almost out. Fighting now with elbows. Great job tucking that chin so he can take away some of that. Got to get through the roll through. Tommy Wilson's still on top, still putting all that weight, putting all that size on him. Oh! Tommy is hung up on the top rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just going for the ride. I'm glad he's already had his kids. It's a good A. The champion, Drew Diz, feeling it from this crowd. Oh, he got caught. Tommy wasn't waiting for him. Oh, now he's just kicking him. The disrespect. And he Went caught the kick. He's giving him the rights and lefts. Combinations, you told me about combinations That's once. right, combinations. Got to keep it going, left and right. Oh, has him hung up. Oh, now he's got him on the top rope. Judas still taking it. Oh, Cornado DDT! And he, Tommy's still feeling that. His fans cheering Judas on. Bro, that beautiful Tornado DDT. Reminding me of Chavo Guerrero. Senior. Full head of steam strikes by the champion. Missed that kick. But he didn't miss that elbow. That's a knee right to the face. Ooh, and he just drove that knee. Oh, sweep, he swept the leg. Oh, he's got that, he's got that half crab. He's got that leg hooked. Oh, and Jude did his call from the tap. He's close to the rope. Can he reach it? Oh, he wrote, he reached it. It's that long body, long reach, that seven foot wingspan of Tommy Wilson. He's big. Right, whoever said that, he got long arms. <laughs> what a battle we're having for the SoCal Pro Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Jude is the champion, Tommy Wilson. Oh, and he gave him a super kick. With a victory, and he's got to fold it up. Oh. Radiant one signals only two. You talked about that cadence, bro. I don't know about that cadence. <laughs> These fans powering up Judas. What a battle these two have been, been going on here in the main event of SoCal Pro Wrestling's 16th year anniversary. These two heavyweights are giving it their all in our main event, bro. Oh, and Tommy's over the top. He threw him that hard. Took a bad tumble. Lucky for the long legs of Tommy Wilson. Both these men battling on the outside, and the radiant one is now, oh! 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 Tommy Wilson just super kicked Jason Redondo! It looked like he had a problem with his knee, and he got caught in the line of fire. 
The radiant one is down. Oh, we've got reps to come check on the radiant one. He brings Judas into the ring. Oh, he, he's not going. For, he went for a pile driver. Oh, wait. Oh, he got him with a power bomb. Short change power bomb. Referee, they had a ref in the ring. Only a two count. Radiant one is being helped to the back. He just wiped him out, belly to back suplex! German! That was a German. I got excited. Oh, he almost got... Oh, super kick! Is it still a disqualification if you dump some over the top? No. No? That's, That's the National Wrestling Alliance. Oh, sorry, sorry. A lot of promotions get confused. That's right. Anyways, he caught that super. Oh, it's so gone crazy! It's so gone crazy! Last time we saw him, Tommy Wilson just kicked his lights out. Oh, what is he got in his hand? He's got a chain of some sort wrapped around. Oh, and here comes Ricky Man now! Ricky Mandel from behind, attacking SoCal Crazy. Oh, and he throws Ricky over the top. Oh, now Tommy goes over the top. No. SoCal Crazy. Oh, he goes over. Over the top rope, SoCal Crazy crashes under both men. There's still a match going on, bro. Here comes Tortuga, and Tortuga's coming after Ricky Mandel, and now they're laying the beat down on him. Bro, we still got a match going on in the ring. It's Ju Diz, it's Tommy Wilson. Oh, Going for that pub up. battle. Oh, ah, he had a win. Bro, he got him all the way over, turned him inside out. Hit that knee! We got no ref! Here comes a ref! It's a ref Scott! Only a two! Bro, it's a ref Scott! A night of returns! Wow! I saw Tommy Wilson put Everett Scott through a table. The champion, Judy, is going to the top rope. Tommy Wilson is lifeless in the middle of that ring. Oh, he missed the elbow. Tommy's lining up. Oh, he got the super kick! <laughs> no, this could be... I thought we had a new champion right there, bro. Everett Scott is signaling only a two count. I was literally speechless. I thought Tommy Wilson had pulled it off and we had a new champion. Everett Scott in perfect position for that count. Tommy setting up again, going back to the well. Jude is slowly getting up. How much does he have left? Oh, he got all that super kick. Oh, and he 
gave him another one for good measure. Dude Diz showing you why he's been able to keep the title for over four years. Oh! A Jason Dory! He just why would you hang Tommy Wilson in a chair? If he hits it, he gets disqualified. He needs to think about this. Yeah. Wait, what? He, what? What just happened? What? 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 Ha Scott comes back and screws Judas. That piece of garbage, I cannot believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match and new South Pro. Where's the commissioner when you need him? Six times, bro, six times now. Bro, travesty of justice right here. Planned all along by Tommy Wilson. Strategically planning referee Everett Scott. Strategery. Just speechless, bro. I'm disgusted. What a despicable human being. And you knew it, you always said it. I hate it, Rick Scott. This is not the last we've heard of Judas, bro, that's for sure. Congratulations, Tommy Wilson, six times SoCal Pro Heavyweight Champion. Hard thing to do with for Judas, bro. Hasn't tasted defeat in this ring in over four years.
just unbelievable, bro. Bro, what did we just see? I mean, travesty of justice. Everett Scott in cahoots with Tommy Wilson. Just terrible, absolutely terrible. I mean, what can we say, bro? We're gonna get back together again on May 20th. Um, SoCal Pro, 16 years, and just see what's going on. Congratulations again to them. Tommy Wilson, our new champion. You've got a lot to process. You got a lot to process. I hope you'll come back and see us the next time that we're together and we can find out what's gonna be happening. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rick Dynamic. My name is Vic Dynamic. And we will see you in May.